So it was here that a religion and a movement called spiritualism would take shape, which in popular culture we now associate with seances and Ouija boards. Yes, ultimately it was about speaking with the dead. But spiritualism was also about working with the dead to enact reform for the living. Hi there everybody, I pray that y'all are doing fine, and thanks for tuning in to another video here on Armor of God. This video is slightly longer than what I usually share with all of you, only because the answer given by the experienced Father Carlos Martins is something you'd want to hear and reflect on. The topic of our discussion in this video is necromancy, or in other words, talking to the dead. We've all in one way or another heard of someone who's trying to do this most popular of which is by playing the Ouija board without realizing that they are actually playing the devil's game. But did you know this act of trying to talk to the dead is repulsive to God? Now let's hear what Father Carlos Martins has got to say about this then. Uh, so the, the scripture is very clear. To attempt to make contact with the dead, that's called necromancy. And necromancy is condemned left and right throughout the scriptures. And in fact, our Lord describes such persons as being so repulsive to him that he will enact revenge. And why? what's so bad about that? Because by definition, one who is trying to contact and interact with the dead, who's trying to summon the dead, is violating the first commandment. Right. How? Well, because our Lord has placed limits in reality, right? We, we're finite beings. There are limits. We're limited by the effects of time. We're limited yeah. by the effects of death. And in God's realm, uh, those are placed there for our good. Yeah. Uh, the, the Lord has created the universe uh, such that after the fall, we have to live with the effects of death, right? That he has permitted that. To try to usurp that through manipulating the hidden powers of nature or the hidden powers of the occult, then what we are saying is, I'm trying to be God. What God has given me is insufficient for my happiness. What if I told you that following the death of President Lincoln and First Lady Mary Todd Lincoln's young son, the couple held numerous seances in the Red Room of the White House trying to contact him. And after President Lincoln's assassination, the First Lady commissioned a spirit photograph with her dead husband. Spirit photos purportedly captured images of the dead on camera. So I'm going to take matters in my own hands. I'm going to be God. In other, I'm going to be an alternative God because I can do it better than what he can. And, and I'm going to make this happen. In that action, we are replicating the rebellion, the sin of the fallen angels, of the demons. Yeah. And so in that replication, we are forming a relationship with them. Right? Our intention might be, you know, I just miss my Aunt Sally so much, or I miss my mother so much, or grandma. And I'm, I, I just, I so want to be with her again. I would just like to be within her in her kitchen as she's baking cookies one more time. And so I'm going to reach out and do that. And you know what? The demons are so astute because their yeah. intellect, they are angelic beings. Yeah. So their intellect is so profound that they have access to everything in visible reality all at once. See, they, they don't have bodies. So an angel, uh, demons are angels. A yeah. demon can be and is at the farthest recess of the universe. He's at the bottom of the ocean, of every part of the ocean. And he's on top of the highest mountain and he's in front of you right now. Right? And that's, yeah. that's a property of a, a spirit that has no body to limit him. Sure. Without limitation, he is everywhere. And all of physical reality is equally available to him. So in those moments, when you were in your grandmother's kitchen and you were able to take in those experiences, the smells, the sights, the sounds, the voice of your grandmother, right? the, the, the smell of her perfume, the smell of being in her kid, he can replicate all of those without even trying. Yeah. So you can think in those moments, oh my gosh, this really is grandmother. He can imitate her, 
an imitator sound, you are doing nothing but making contact with an evil spirit. And worse than that, you're forming a relationship with him. You're giving him rights to now be part of your life. 